Welcome back, Crusaders. I'm Cooper Smith. And I'm Alyssa Baird. Bringing you another edition of Crusader Nation News and welcoming you back into a full week of school. Before we begin to look ahead, we want to recap some of last week's events and activities. On Friday, the House Assembly was a huge hit for both students and teachers. Each house was able to boost their points, but House Caritas came out on top and currently leads in the House competition. Also on Friday, St. Dominic honored their cheer, dance, band, and football seniors as they've put in so much time and effort into each of their activities. That's for sure, Alyssa. I'm lucky enough to have called each home football game this year and have watched the dedication of this team week in and week out. My partner in crime for many of those games, Noah Schusler, spent some time talking to some people who will never forget this special group of guys. I'm Noah Schusler and I'm with Philip Hartenbach. So, got a couple questions for you. So, being the leader of the student section during Friday Night Lights is a special opportunity. How have you made the most of that this year? I think I made the most out of it because, you know, it's uh, my friends and I, it's our last ride. So, we're trying to make the most out of it and watch our friends play in all the games. So, like again, we're just trying to make the most out of it and enjoy the most out of it. So, yeah. Now, the tradition of the spear captain, how has that impacted? Uh, it's impacted me in a great way because over my four years here at St. Dominic, I've wanted the jacket, to be honest, and when I got it, I was super excited, and now I get to watch my friends play, and it's nothing but great. So, with this being your senior year, how does it feel to watch your own friends compete in what is their final high school football season? I think it's awesome because it's going to be memories that we uh, carry with each other forever, and, you know, we'll talk about it in 10 years from now when we meet up again. And I think that's going to be an awesome thing to talk about and just another memory that we'll share together. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I am Noah Schusler, and today I'm here with Coach Markway. He is the head coach of our football team. And Mark, Ms. Markway, a couple quick questions. One, how has it felt to coach the class of 2023 the past four years? Uh, well, it's been a blessing in coaching the last four years. And what's really neat about this group is this is actually our first junior Crusaders group too. Um, before the season, I was kind of going through my coach's office at, at home and reorganizing some stuff. And I found a framed picture of our first junior Crusaders team in 2017. And it happened to be these seniors, Nash Kell, TJ Kwapazeski, Jackson, a bunch of the guys that were in that picture that kind of started that program. And to see where they're at six years later is pretty cool. Now, how have you seen this team adapt to the Crusader Friday Night Lights environment? Uh, well, they I think they all value very much the support that we get from our school community. Um, they've played in big games here, um, and whether it's an opening game or a district championship, you know, they want to put on the best effort and best performance for our fans um, because we have the best fans in the state, I always say that. Now, as we enter into the final countdown for the class of 2023, what are your thoughts on their ability, abilities and overall growth over the past four years? Oh, well, this was a group, I, I believe, their freshman year. Um, you know, they didn't win a game. I think they got one touchdown. And then their JV season the next year, they won three of their last four games against some really good opponents. Their junior year, they won the school's first district championship with a lot of those guys playing really key roles and starters on that team. Um, so I'm really excited to see how they finish their season, their senior season um, and what they do in the postseason with that opportunity. All right, well, thank you so much. I am here with senior quarterback Kelly Welby. Now, Kelly, how does a packed Crusader fan section impact your team's abilities on the field? Yeah, I mean, it's great. It brings a lot of energy to the field. And and it brings some enthusiasm to the team, so it always helps me at home. Now, with this being sen the senior night game, how, what are your thoughts on the 2022 season so far? Um, definitely ones we wanted back, but we're just working every day to, to get better for November, because that's when it really matters. So, you know, we're going to put our foot in the ground, move on, keep working and do what we do, and we'll see what happens. My word has got to be memories. Family. Family. Exhilarating. Family. Memorable. It's valuable. Family. Love. Special. Cats. Rewarding. 
It's amazing. It's special. It's historic. Courage. It's heart. Treasured. My word is brotherhood. Thanks, Noah. That was awesome. Closing out last week, this past Sunday was the fall band and choir concert. We hope everybody was able to show their support in person or on the Crusader live stream. There won't be much live streaming this week as most of our sports teams take to the road. That's right, Alyssa. One team that hit the road earlier this week was golf, as Jenna Ranke, Caitlin Smith, Isabella Daniel, Annabelle Bush, and Lily Seidel all shot fantastic at State Golf in Columbia. Congratulations to those five young ladies and the whole team on a great year. Tomorrow, the soccer boys travel to Duchenne to play at 6 p.m. And on Thursday, they head to Washington to take on the Borgia Knights. On Saturday, volleyball starts district play at Francis Hall at 1 p.m. Also on Saturday, football plays their last regular season game at Westminster High School at 2 p.m. Make sure to go out and support your team one last time. Moving on from sports, tomorrow we have All School Mass Day. As a reminder, boys are required to wear a white dress shirt with pants and a tie, and ladies wear their white polo with the gray mask sweater and uniform bottoms. It's that time of year again for the Crusader Raffle. The raffle started earlier this week and there are lots of house points on the line. Whichever house has sold the most tickets over the week will receive six points. At the end of week two, the leading house will receive eight points, and by the end of week three, the winning house will receive ten points. The points start fresh each week so your house is always in the run for weekly points. Not only is this a house competition, other prizes will be awarded as well. In the first week, if the goal is met of $35,000 in tickets, everyone will get a dress down day. If we earn $70,000 by the end of week two, we will receive donuts for the entire school. And lastly, if we reach our full goal of $100,000, we will receive a day off on November 23rd. Now is the time to start selling those tickets, Crusaders. In other news, this Sunday is our open house. Our very own students will lead tours for many families to see what St. Dominic is all about. It's an exciting and important day for us, so if you're volunteering, put on your best and most inviting smile. Lastly, for more information about activities inside and outside St. Dominic, make sure to visit our website at crusadernationnews.org, or if you can scan one of our QR codes located around the building, and that will take you straight to our exciting website. Also, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Crusader Nation News as more and more content will be delivered to you in this manner. Finally, I'm Cooper Smith. And I'm Alyssa Baird. Signing, signing off. off.